Welcome to this short video introducing the Business Central app for mobile devices. This is the app and I will attempt to show the features in relation to the Business Central web client that you see on the left hand side here. The app gives you access to your role center with the same permissions, the same access to data. In this case, in the same database, same company for easy comparison. If I scroll down in the app, what I have is access to all the usual queues on the role center. So you can see the same 43 sales orders in the app that I've got access to in the web client across here on the left hand side. And as I scroll further down, I've got all the features, all the parts of the role center that I have available in my main view. When it comes down to the insight section, I do have access to all of those as well. I simply click one of the little icons at the bottom and there's my business performance chart. And in fact, if I want to cycle through those charts, I can do that because I can click the little drop down here and go to the next chart, just like I would do in the main client. And if I want to explore all the charts, select chart and go directly to one, then let's say the cash flow, I can do that just like I would do in the main web client. I've got other icons at the bottom for other elements of the dashboard and my favorite accounts like we see here. When I want to return to the main role center, I simply click home and that's back at the top. If I want to access the bookmarks, the quick links, across the top of the screen here. These give instant access to some of the key list pages that might require access to. That can be achieved with the, the hamburger menu, the three lines on the left hand side. Click the three lines, click customers, and I'm straight to my list of customers. Same as doing this. If I want to go and view a customer card, simply clicking it, I start to see that detail. Notice how the web client on the left hand side has a fact box pane. I can access that from the top here and see all that related information that the fact box pane includes. But I don't have to have it in the way. I can have that out of the way and just proceed in the exact same way. I can turn it off on the web client. I have each tab with the usual show more and show less available to me to vary the level of detail that I see. Um, each tab here, address and contact, breaking down the relevant data as I go down the page. If I click the three dots at the bottom right, the assist edit, I have the options, process, new document, approve, the same as I have the menu across the top of the screen here in the web client. So I have access to everything I might wish to do just in a smaller screen device. If I click the back arrow to take me back to the, uh, the card page, click the arrow again to go back to the role, back to the customer's list, and then click it again to go back to the role center. If I wanted to work with an example transaction, that's easy to do. If I go to my 43 sales orders, and the same on the left hand side, here's my list of sales orders. To look at a particular sales order, there's the Canon Group PLC sales order, £4,000 for a bicycle. Hopefully it's a good bike. Here's the example in the web client. So I want to see the line level information, i.e. see this detail that I can see coming across here, for example, with planned shipment dates and delivery dates and so on. Simply click there and I've got that level of detail being presented to me here including dimensions in any of the columns that are available. This is the full column level information for that line. If I move back one step, I'm back at the, the main sales order. Just like the web client has this fact box pane, again, I've got that available to me here to see any attached documents or other information that's related. And when I click the three dots, just like you saw on the, the customer card page, I've got my menu across the top with the options to send email, for example, release, reopen, etc. Whatever I might wish to do to that document. Takes off back to the role center. And that's that for this first video. The second video will show you how to download and start to sign in and use this 
mobile app for Business Central. Thank you.